here. Thank you. How you guys doing? Thank you for uh, allowing us to appear today before you, and we'd like to also thank the DD Council. Yeah, for their support of the uh, Ohio Special Initiatives by Brothers and Sisters, or Ohio SIBs. Uh, this is my brother Jeff, I'm Dean, and March is a very special month for us, not just because of DD Awareness and DD Advocacy Month, but it's something else very special to us. Why is March special? I mean, guys, I'm doing very good in my birthday in March 1967, I'll be 46. Yeah. Jeffrey, Jeffrey's birthday is March 30th, and uh, he is going to be 46 years old. You're getting old. Yes, I am. Four more years, and you're <laughs> four more years, and you hit the big 5-0, Grandpa. Uh, yeah. yeah. And it also 46 years ago to, was the uh, when the. Um, Ohio General Assembly created the County Boards of Developmental Disabilities to act as local government administrative authorities for our DD programs. Jeffries is as old as the county DD board system. Yes, I am. Uh, <laughs> uh, the foundation for this system, here, why don't you let me just slide over just a tad. Okay. We're both gaining weight in our old age. There's not enough room back here. Oh, uh, the foundation for this system was created by parents, and until now, the programs have met mostly run by parents. In 1967, the average life expectancy in the United States was about 70 years old. And today in this country, we're living to an average of 78 years old. Both Jeffrey and my parents have long passed, and Jeffrey has been as much a part of my life as I have his since the day he was born. The one thing I have always stressed with Jeffrey is to not be afraid to speak up for himself. Yes. And I help him understand his rights. Yes. <laughs> Nobody knows Jeffrey better than me. That's right. And few people know me better than him. Mm -hmm. But increasing numbers, brothers and sisters are being called upon to be more involved in the lives of their siblings with disabilities. More than anyone, these siblings will be the most important source of information regarding their brothers and sisters. Today, there are approximately 90,000 Ohioans who have some level of service in our state DD system, and most of these people have brothers and sisters. How many of you have a brother or a sister? That's a lot of brothers and sisters out there. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. People in Jeff and my situation will become even more common in the future, where all the family support comes from the siblings. Since I became more involved with Ohio Sibs and the Franklin County DD Board, I have met over 100 siblings who are their brother or sister's key partner. While all the situations are different, they are also all, all the same in that every sibling I have encountered wants nothing more than their sibling to live a meaningful and safe life, and they have no regrets or hesitation in playing a major role in their sibling's life. Nobody ever says it's a sacrifice or a burden. Siblings will be in the lives of family members longer than any other person, and as Jeffrey's sibling, I share most of the concerns the parents experience, including isolation, a need for information, and concerns about the future and caregiving issues. But the sibling relationship is also much different from the parent relationship. When my father would take Jeffrey bowling, he would always get Jeffrey's shoes and his ball for him. But when he goes bowling with me, I make him go get his own ball. That's right. <laughs> Well, he has his own ball now, so he brings his own ball now, but that doesn't mean I'm going to let him win, because I try to beat him every time, every All time we time go. he does, yes. too. <laughs> Jeffrey will always be my little brother. He's the only person in my family who has never, ever criticized my driving. Yeah. Am I a good driver? Yes, I boy. <laughs> He's my advocate as much as I'm his. <laughs> he was the best man in my wedding. How about that limo ride? Uh, I like that part too. The limo ride was very special. <laughs> he is the best uncle to my daughter. He even gave her all of his Scooby-Doo videos. Yep, I do. Do you want to do your Scooby-Doo imitation? Mm, okay. Oh. Sushi! <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> People say he's lucky to have me, but I'm lucky I have him. People say, oh, you're so nice to help him, but he never, ever hesitates to help me. People say he's handicapped or disabled, but he makes me see how I'm handicapped and disabled every time I'm with him. I know my parents would never have imagined Jeffrey could live independently, work in the community, and participate in two book clubs. Yep. And as his brother, I am going to make sure that self-advocacy is a part of Jeffrey's ISP. We'd like to thank the DD Council again for their support of Ohio Sibs and for allowing us to have this moment today to raise the awareness of the need to support and provide not just parents, but siblings with information, support, and tools to advocate with their brothers and sisters. Also, on behalf of Ohio Sibs, I would like to thank and personally would like to thank Director John Martin for his acknowledgement of the sibling dynamic. We greatly appreciate your support and leadership in helping the over 90,000 people in Ohio who are part of our community. Thank you. Thank you.